118 Ave. The old 118 Avenue. This place gotten a, a lot better over the years. It used to be a lot worse when I was younger. Even a lot worse when my sister was younger. Jen, you're just telling me something about when you used to catch the, so, the bus for school and so used to wait on 118 Ave when you're younger. So standing out here on 118 Ave, this exactly right here on 88th Street here where this building is, this yeah. brick building. Yeah, yeah. It used to be an Ed Tell building when uh, Ed Tell used to own the telephone company. Yeah. So you stand out here and people would circle the bus stop. Guys would circle the bus stop with their cars and stop and look at you and circle the bus stop and circle the bus stop thinking you're a hooker waiting for the bus. One night I was sitting here waiting at the bus stop to leave for my friends to go home and yeah. this guy was just circling, circling, circling. Wow. All of a sudden he parked in the alley and behind, hiding behind a bush and I looked at him and I stuck my head out the yeah. window and I said, Don't you have a family, you pervert? Stop <laughs> circling the bus stop, I'm not a hoe! That's how bad it was. Wow. Yeah, see, it, it got a lot better over the years, yo. But yeah, this shit was bad. Even when I was young, I remember I, I freaking, I'll show you guys it later. I went to, remember when we went to school at Parkdale, junior yeah. high up yeah. here? I remember getting off the bus. And then there was a street worker crackle there, and then she was like, hey, you want a job? I'll give you a job. Da, 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 da. I looked shocked, and I booked it all the way to school, bro. Holy. Damn, I regret that though. I should have got it, man. I regret it. Now that I'm older, I regret it, man. I should have went for it. Not just kidding. That been my first time. Right here. I'm good here though. Okay. Okay. Hood vlog number three. Okay. Love you. Okay, love you. Yeah. <laughs> Down here at 118 Avenue, 95th Street. One of the hearts of the hood. We holding it down. So we're gonna do a little fucking hood walk through. See what it do? This has calmed down over the years, but yeah, this was the strip growing up. 118, all the way from the hood, all the way up to the fucking baseball bat. Look at these police out here. Look at these police. These guys have been trying to put me in jail for a minute, bro. We haven't. Yeah, you. all you guys. <laughs> you been watching my stuff? No, I'm just kidding. No, okay. You're making it. Okay, okay, okay. Look out. I was about to cross, but knowing you guys probably give me a jaywalking ticket, man. Come on, bro. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> See ya, bro. These motherfuckers been trying to throw me in the fucking jail, motherfuckers. Know me by name, these motherfucking police, bro. White motherfuckers. Thought they're gonna trip me out. The only thing I ain't got nothing to scared of. I ain't got rocks in my pocket today. I ain't got no crack in my pocket today. No drugs. So I'm good. I'm holding the motherfucking camera now, dog. That's what we doing. We ain't selling dope no more, bro. We making content. We treating the content shit like how we treating the trap shit. <sighs> like back in the day, I wake up every day. I'm trying to make a buck. I'm trying to sell drugs to make some money. That was my mentality every day. Now every day, we making the fucking content. So now when I see the fucking cops, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm pretty much a damn civilian at this point. I'm a civilian, nigga. Keep it more. I, I treat these motherfucking cops like white folks. I'll start cursing them on all types of shit, so. Yeah, whatever, but here we are, 118. This right here, bro. This is the good fucking Somali food right here. You want a good Somali restaurant to go to? You're on 95th Street, 118. This is the fucking jam right here, G. Meringue, oh, they don't even got a sign up, but this is it. Meringue, bro, halal, bro. These niggas hook it up good. Next time you're on 95th Street, uh, yeah, bro. You can see it, bro. Next time you're on 95th Street, hit up that, bro. It's good. Really good food. I never had Somalian food before. Well, one of my bros is Somalian. I'm like, yo, bro, take me to Somali spot. He took me there. That was the only place in the pandemic who never can follow Regans. And nobody ratted them out either. You can know why? Because those are Somalis, nigga. They don't fucking snitch. They don't run to government, bro. They don't trust government, bro. They don't fuck with the government, G. And no white people eat there. When you go in there, it's going to be all Somali niggas. Look at right there. And over the year, 118 is a lot of African black businesses up on the strip and up on the Ave now, you know? So, 118, bro. 118 Avenue, bro. Used to be notorious.
boom, let's show you the block. Are you guys from the neighborhood? No? You guys wanna talk? I'm making a little video for YouTube about 118 Ave. I'm a rapper in the community. Would you wanna have a word? Okay. Yeah, have a good day. This is right here, my <clears throat> Alberta Avenue. This is where my one bro, he has a fundraiser for kids. They can come there, get free haircuts. They give out like uh, toys and stuff. They have games for the kids and there's free food and shit. And they, it's a donation. The only way entry fee is come drop off some food and they go give it to the food bank. Shout out to the Grimm brothers, Pat Grimm and all them, bro. They host that stuff there. And hello, I'm making, you wanna talk? I'm making a, a video about 118. Would you want to have a word? Are you from the community? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, have a good day. Yeah. Yeah, man. These people got places to go, man. People to see, man. They don't want to... I'm telling you, people in this neighborhood, they ain't too fond of cameras. See, the thing about Edmonton <coughs> is why it's like... <coughs> why you'll never see, like... <coughs> I, I would say Edmonton was more hood when I grew up, bro. Yeah, there's more like fentanyl crisis and overdose, but when I was growing up during the fucking crack era, you would literally have a fucking hooker on every corner, bro. That's how it was on 118. Just like my sister said, bro. Like, you know, like the crack, like the crack was visible, but now I think because of the internet, shit's not so visible because... Even the, from the escort to the high-end escort to the crack holder all on the internet, so. They all, they, where, wherever they're selling, it's all going to be on the internet, you know? Nobody's selling the corner no more, right? Not even in big cities in Canada. You might see that shit in, like, L.A. or New York. But I don't even think in Vancouver or Toronto they're still even doing that. Spanish grocery store. One of the few Spanish grocery stores, Latin grocery stores in uh, Edmonton. Yeah. Hello. Would you want to speak? I'm doing a, a video about 118, the community. Okay. Yeah, you okay? Have a good day, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get some people to come talk about the community, man. <laughs> Nobody seems to want to fucking talk over here, G. Nobody wants to talk, man. These niggas don't want cameras, but anyways, what I was saying, Edmonton was more hood back then. But one thing about Edmonton, it's not like we don't have hoods how they have them in uh in like Toronto per se. You know what I'm saying? Out here in the West, in Alberta, it's all fucking drugs, bro. Like, back when I was growing up, there was more gangs. I'd say that right now. Everybody had a little crew or had a little gang, and they'd put their name on it. Whatever it fucking bloodline soldiers. Uh, where was there? There was fucking another four. Ah, oh, forget four dub, four dub. Ah, oh, I forget. It was Joe. Joey started that, but there's white boys had crews. There was a couple white boy gangs, a couple native gangs. Mixed racial gangs, you know, and they're all street gangs, you know. So, yeah, there was more gangs, and there was uh, what IP, Alberta Warriors, uh, Crazy Dragons. Those were the gangs that were out here. But now, it's more so. Edmonton is just like a city of individual hustlers, independent dealers, all working throughout the city: north side, south side, east side, west side. And nobody's really constrained to a particular neighborhood because Edmonton's not how big it is in Toronto and there's apartment blocks, right? Everybody drives around here. Hey, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, some people sell drugs in the neighborhood, like that last neighborhood we're in. There's a lot of drug dealers in that neighborhood because obviously there's a lot of homeless people. There's a lot of fiends. Somebody's got to be there to serve these dudes, right? That neighborhood has a lot of drug dealers. A lot of shit pops off in that neighborhood too. Murders. People getting shot in the head in the back alley and shit like that. But uh, yeah, Edmonton's just more independent dealers all working throughout the city. 
some people know each other and some people work together and some people don't there's no really particular a gang or even like a, a hood like a, a gang that says like you know like 32nd street where is that one of the few neighborhoods who represented their neighborhood bro just because these niggas were trying to fucking kick us off the block oh it's fucking and, uh, we're this, we're that. You can't wear red in Abbotsfield. And my family, my mom, and my grandma, they're from Trinidad. So we like wearing red because the Trinidadian flag is red. And red's a powerful color. It's a bright color. It stands out, right? Oh, you can't wear red in Abbotsfield. Da -da 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 -da. And on the other side of 118, 118 stretches all the way from my hood all the way to the west side, you know? So... So it's like, uh, it's a long, it's a long strip, right? But from here, from Abbott Field all the way up to, to the baseball bat, kind of up there more where we just came from, that's like the strip, the hood. <laughs> and I'll tell you a funny story too. I remember I used to have a homeboy, a Bredgen, bro. He used to live down the block. Native dude, bro. It was like, there was like native First Nation housing. Like, down that fucking strip right there. I used to come, like, catch the bus from Abbotsfield and come up here to come visit him. Because he used to be from Abbotsfield, but he moved up here. And then, uh, <clears throat> like I was telling you, back in the day, the crack was everywhere. There was hookers on every strip. And, like, crackheads were just visible. They're everywhere. On every end of the city, too, right? Well, we're like, yo, let's make some money. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing, bro. Never sold drugs. We're like, yo, let's get some soap and let's sell it, bro. Da, da, da. We need some money for weed, bro. This is us. We're just trying to buy liquor and weed. We're just kids, G, you know? I must have been like 12 or some shit like that, bro. So we can walk this strip. Like, this is where it happened. We're trying to sell that soap because that's how you used to chop back in the day. You used to walk up and down like the block asking if people, do you party hard or soft? That's how we used to say, do you party hard? Do you party soft? And then you know if they smoke crack or they want powder cocaine. <coughs> But obviously you're trying to sell rocks Mostly everyone smokes rocks, right? People that do powder, ca powder cocaine Ain't really out visible like that, bro, you know? But anyways, we sold them the shit We sold them for 40 bucks uh, four Two pieces for 40 bucks Crack, crack pieces really was so We went back home and shit Because we're, we're asking everybody on the strip But nobody, nobody uh, uh, agreed to it But anyways we're all good. I come, I leave. We spend the money, we get high, we get drunk, whatever. I leave and I come back. Just visit them and they're like, yo, you know, that guy came back to the strip looking for us, bro. He's gonna beat our shit, like, beat the shit out of us, bro, because we took his last 40 bucks, bro. And we sold them soap. You know, crackhead will kill you over that shit, bro. Big facts, bro. I don't know if the sun might kill you, but I know for damn sure they'll, they'll get violent with you over that shit, G. See this donut spot? This is where I used to eat for lunch. I used to go to school right down the block from here, bro. Bro, but they had this bomb burger, donut, donut burger, double patties, bro, with donut meat and sweet sauce and shit. Lettuce, tomatoes, onion. Oh, that was nuts. But I don't know, bro. This place kind of fell off, G. See, yeah, they sold it, bro. It's not. I don't know. It's not the same people. They. But ever since he got rid of that, see, that's my old school up there. That's my old school up there. Parkdale. But I don't know, man. That freaking don't air spot fell off, bro. Like, I went there to eat. I took my friend there, and it just wasn't the same. And they don't have the customer base like they did either. Because that place used to be packed. Hey, hello. Hey, we're doing a video about 118. Would you want to have a word about the community? Not Do you have the time? Okay. I just sorry. Oh, did y'all? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> it's still the same uh, demographic though, uh, people, because this was a native hood, a native strip. A lot of uh. Back in the day, a lot of uh, Alberta warriors on this strip, 118 of, you know? 
Yeah, man. Man, that lady looks mad familiar, bro. I swear, bro, that lady back there looks familiar. I swear I used to serve her in Abbotsfield when I was a teenager, bro. Crazy to see she's still alive. Even I'm surprised some of these heads are, they probably died now, now that the fentanyl crisis came in, but those crackheads lived for years, G. Those crackheads lived in years, bro. You know? I used to see them, but now with this fentanyl shit, these guys are dying like lives, G. But yeah, my school is down there. This is where I used to get off the bus for school and I crossed these lights. I crossed those lights and my school was down this block, but I got off there and this is where that hooker was standing right there, bro. When I was going to school and she asked me if I wanted a sucky sucky, you know? And I thought, I was like shocked, like, ah, oh, I ran. I ran all the way to school after that, G. It's fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> but yeah. Fun, G. Fun growing up, bro. Growing up in Northside. Northside Edmonton. We hate police. Eight. Eight Abbotsfield, baby. Jamaican cafe right there, Jamaican food. Uh, back there yeah watch your shit of course you watch my shit i know you watch my shit i remember the cops the gang uh gang suppression cops pulled over one of my bros <laughs> he's like uh what did he say i see dz making those food vlogs i guess everybody needs a hobby mother bro i bursted out laughing when i heard that i was like these these mother you know I gotta watch my swearing on this car. I'm used to swearing, bro. I'm used to being on the block, so. When I come to the internet, I gotta watch my language, bro. Eighty second street. Eighty second street. This used to right here, the Shoppers Drug Mart used to be an infamous, infamous bar and hotel, the Cromdale, yo. It was like an infamous hotel where drug use and drug dealing and prostitutions and all types of shit were going on in here. Now they freaking built it into a Shoppers Drug Mart. But yeah, only the old school people know the Cromdale. Meet me at the Cromdale, meet me at the Cromdale, now. Nah. Are these new kids nowadays, they wouldn't even know what the freaking Cromdale is, bro. Boom. You gotta have the steak here, bro. You gotta try the steak here. This is a good restaurant. If you're in Edmonton and you wanna eat out a mom and pop type of uh, establishment, this is it right here. But I'll tell you right now, mad cops come eat here. Cause they get a discount when they eat here, bro. So much cops. Every time I go in there, there's freaking cops, G. Gang suppression too, bro. B cops, gang suppression, detectives. Yeah, that's definitely a law enforcement food establishment, but they got some good food there. And that, that's been there since Gretzky days. Since when Wayne Gretzky used to play in Edmonton at the Coliseum right here. This is where Wayne Gretzky used to play. Yeah. Oh, oh! 
<laughs> Girl's like walking into me, head down, looking at something. Meet me on the Ave. Yo, meet me on the strip. Yo, meet me on the Ave. Yeah. You know they gotta have the cash check in place in the hood. That's the only bank account us hood niggas got. And the cash check in place, bro. Yeah. I'm at the cash check in place. Homie, it's a race. No, I beat the case. Aim it at your face. Homie, hear the bass. I'm coming to your place. Yeah, but this Coliseum Sparta here, we're reaching Coliseum here. 118 Coliseum. One eighteen Coliseum. You know I got the arena, like John Cena. Get you on up here. Yeah, this is Edmonton, though. I only can take you through the spots, you know. When I was young, this is what, like, you know, this strip was popping as hell, bro. Freaking this bus stop right here, Coliseum bus stop. Oh, I hate catching the bus here. Coming to this bus stop, this bus station was notorious, bro. We used to have packs, packs of natives, bro. Packs, at least 10 deep, at least, minimum. At minimum 10 deep, natives here used to come kick it out this park here. And this, every time I caught the bus here, I'd go downstairs, bro. You know, see? Another another dope fiend, bro. This is dope fiends all over this place, G. But yo, this park right here. This park right here, G. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, bro. Oh, I didn't get that last report recorded, bro. After I plugged in my battery, it shut off the recording part in it. So I didn't get the. I didn't get the the footage but yeah I bought that park back there that park used to be have like mad native people used to chill at that park like 10 deep minimum 10 deep minimum bro you see natives chilling there all the time every time I took the bus bro and I'd never catch the bus always always there I'd always like catch the bus home like at the bottom part because there was always like a gang of natives chilling there and they're deep they'd always chill at that fucking park bro Drinking, turning up and shit, and uh, you know you get robbed at the, get robbed there. How many times get robbed? And I know how you see on the uh, Toronto news, like everybody's like the TTC is dangerous, and the public transportation's dangerous, and I'm like, bro, you're having that problem now. I remember growing up, uh, like the bus stops were notorious. Abbotsfield bus stop where I grew up, oh, sh stuff would pop off there all the time too. Same with the. Uh, the freaking uh, Coliseum one right here, stuff would pop off all the time because people are in transit. That's where mostly people, you're gonna run into people, right? But I have a story for you, see right there? Over there, that red building at the bottom, there used to be a club there called Diesel. And it was like the hip hop, like one of the more popular hip hop clubs at Edmonton, but everybody would freaking link. Hey, what's up? Hey, yo, you from Abbotsfield, G? You from Abbotsfield? Oh, you look familiar, G. Yeah. Freaking, uh... But yeah, everybody... Everybody would go there. All the dealers, all the gangsters would go pop off there. And Edmonton, Edmonton's a small city. All the, all the gangsters would go to the same clubs and mess with the same chicks and stuff like that. But yeah, that club over there, bro, people would get so much shootings would pop off there. People would get smoked. I remember, like, when it first opened... Like a week into the opening, someone got shot in the head right outside there, bro. And then they brought in the bar band, so now you gotta scan when you come into a bar. If the cops don't like you, they can put you on that bar band and yeah. And then you ain't going to the club, G. 
And that's why most G's in Edmonton just go out of the country and turn up, bro. Or go out east, go to Montreal, go to Toronto. They don't got no scan system there. Gangsters can still go out there and have fun, right? So. That girl speaking about condom wrappers. At least she's wearing them. Or maybe she ain't. Maybe she got a gang of kids. Maybe she got the bug. Who knows? We'll never find out. I guess we'll never know. See this hotel right here? This too, this this East Kleiner Hotel was a, a notorious crack hotel. All the crackheads and all the prostitutes would get room here and all the drug dealers would come through and serve these people. You could damn near knock on any door on this uh, hotel here and, and chop a phone just by knocking on these people's doors, bro. Yeah, East Glen Hotel, bro. If you know, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know, G. East Glen Hotel, notorious for, for crackheads and prostitutes, crack hoes. Crack hoes, yeah. Yeah, this 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 is the the motel, not even a hotel, some motel, bro. Yeah. Now I think it's quiet now, bro. Ain't too much crackhead staying here no more. Meth heads, maybe? Tweakers? The tweakers? The, 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 the tweaker? Is a tweaker? To, to, tweaker? To, 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 tweaker? To, tweak, to, tweak. To, to, tweaker? Hey, tweaker, 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 tweaker. Hey, tweaker, tweaker, hey, tweaker, tweaker, tweaker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, tweaker, 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 tweaker. Hey, come here, tweaker. Come here, tweaker. Oh, that's a good tweaker. That's a good tweaker. Come here, tweaker. Just kidding. <laughs> East Glen. East Glen High School. This is where everybody from the hood would go to school. East Glen High School. Back in the day, all the schools, I don't know what it's, what it's like now, but back in the day, all the high schools had beef. East Glen had beef with this and had beef with that, and they used to fight it out too. Down there, I don't know if you can see it, but it's down this block. It's down this block. School is on there. East Glen School. That's a hood high school. People would perp some people would purposely switch schools because they don't want to be labeled as ghetto or hood or whatever, you know. Ghetto. Ghetto. You're at the ghetto. I'm at the ghetto. Me, me, I'm in the ghetto. I'm in the ghetto. Hello. Some food up in here. I'm gonna get some small dry ribs. Small dry ribs, yeah. Get a small dry ribs and a pop. I am hungry. I am hungry. Oh, let me get this one right here. Have a good one. 
thank you very much. Alright. Can I get a small gyros? Smokes. Oh, I thought it was good. Okay. You have the debit card? The machine? How's that? It's a camera. Oh. Yeah. Are you blogging? Yeah, I'm blogging. Whoa, you're a blogger. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Trying to be, anyways. On YouTube? Or YouTube, yeah. yeah. YouTube. Uh, Canada? Yeah, Canada. I'm just starting out. I filmed like 118 in different parts. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go to like the poorest reserve in Canada. Okay. So I'm different. Your... Uh, DZ, DZ the Dawn's World. I'll write it down. Can you write? Yeah, yeah. I will watch it. I follow. Yeah, yeah. You wanna hold it? Okay. Easy the dance world. Okay. Oh, See you. Okay. Talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have some, some food, bro, on the strip. Damn, bro. Mm, some to eat. Guess they sold this store. Koreans used to own this store. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. Figure out which neighborhood I'm gonna do next. I'm out.